So after I'm done with the hairstyle, I sort of just spray just... Ah. Oh. Why? What is up, ninjas? Antonio over here. I will be talking about four easy, practical, and efficient ways to give shine and restore your hair's natural sheen. So first things first, before we talk about how to make your hair actually shiny, let's talk about how to make your hair artificially shiny. Now, if you watch any video about uh, restoring shine to your hair, there's always one thing that hair gurus are always talking about. Hair gurus will emphasize to eat healthy and to take plenty of plenty of vitamins. Taking vitamins is supposed to uh, help restore the shine to your hair, but um, I'm a rebel. I don't want to take medicine and I don't want to eat healthy. I love cheese and alcohol. One of the best ways to making your hair look shiny is by using shine sprays. This is Garnier Fructiste Sleek and Shine uh, Brilliantine. So how do shine sprays work? So after you're done with your hairstyle, you put in the product, uh, you're ready to step out, spray the shine spray right into the hair. This is very concentrated guys, so do not put too much. Literally one to two pumps should do you. You're gonna notice after a couple minutes, your hair will have that really good sheen that it'll give your hair that really shiny, natural gloss. Second way. So something hair gurus never really talk about is how to towel dry your hair. Do not, do not rub the towel on your head super aggressively. Your scalp, just like your nail, just like your skin is part of your body. Any type of friction can cause damage. Lightly dab your hair right after you shampoo it. Slowly, gently caress it. And no, I'm not thinking about anything sexual right now. In time, you will find that if you keep doing this dab technique, um, that your hair is going to be much stronger, it's going to look much healthier, and it's going to be less prone to drying. Number three. So this is actually one of my secrets. I don't normally tell people this one. It is quite unorthodox. It has to do with an egg. Before you say what the hell are you talking about Antonio, let me explain. An egg actually has the perfect properties, essentials, and vitamins for your scalp. Cracking a raw egg and applying it to your hair actually fixes and clears up all the toxins and all the dirt that's in your scalp. The reason for that is uh, egg has properties that actually balance out the pH scale or sort of like the acidity or the levels um, of oils in your scalp. What I'm doing is mixing it into my comb and sort of just applying it that way. Coat the comb and sort of just brush through your hair like so. You can also um, apply it directly to your head and then just wear like a hairnet. That also works. I'd rather be eating this egg, but it really does help. The cool thing about this um, technique is that the results are right away. If you want to be super fancy, you can also add argan oil, you can add um, avocado oil, any essential oils that add into the egg uh, will be also fine and it will be good for the hair. I'm just too lazy to do that, I'm just going to end up eating it. What I usually do is I'll leave it there for an hour and I'll just rinse it with regular shampoo right afterwards. You'll literally feel your hair be soft and shiny literally right away. Tip number four. When purchasing a hair dryer, uh, always get a hair dryer that has the cold shot button. The reason why you want a cold shot button in your hair dryer is because hot, very hot heat really damages the hair. So when you're blow drying, my suggestion is uh, switch from high to cold every now and then so that you're, you don't damage your hair follicles. Sometimes I actually blow dry my hair with just straight up cold air. Most hair growers will argue that you need really hot air um, in order for the hair to set in place and for the hair to keep its structure. I think that is true if you have long hair. Really long hair, uh, that makes sense because your hair needs to really lock in place. But if you have fairly short hair or, or manageable hair, it still has the same effect. You're still going to get uh, volume and you're still going to get structure out of cold air. Cold air also opens up the hair follicles and it, you'll actually get a natural shine uh, by using cold air. That is it guys. I hope I helped a little bit. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching guys I actually had 800 subbies just two weeks ago and starting today. I actually am now 900 subbies all thanks to you guys. You guys are the best. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for the support um, It means the world to me